Aloha, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, along with Dick Vitale, and welcome to the beautiful island of Maui for this first round game of the EA Sports Maui Invitational Tournament between the Oregon State Beavers and the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. I tell you what, you get Shock City, especially if they come out and make shots early. I think it's essential when you're an underdog, you got to protect the basketball and make shots early. Put pressure on the team that's the favorite. Tips up, and the game is on, baby. The Bulldogs should be able to run away with this one, Dick Vitale. Hey, what are the keys for them to do himself? The keys are pretty simple, Brad. Number one, the point guard has to be the leader out there. He's got to be the coach on the floor. Second, hand the ball down low for some easy baskets. It'll be a bonus if you can get their big man in foul trouble. And finally, you got to pound the board. Boards lead to wins, baby. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. And he'll kick it back outside. Fires away. Way off target. Both teams are looking to get something going here. They go into the low block. The fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Jumps into the defender. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up for two. Perfectly executed. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. There's a steal. And up. Great play to take that to the basket. Down inside. With the fake. Nice fake. With the jump hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Wide open for the shot. Trying to feed the low block. Number three picks up the foul. First team foul. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. The small forward with the ball. He pump fakes. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Tries for two. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. He's in three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Applying pressure. Now trying to feed the low block. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. A uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Doesn't go. They work it around the perimeter. Try to go inside. And they blocked. Nice job defensively. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. On the dribble, gives it up. Set that screen away. He attempts the three. He shows the sweet touch. Launches the three. Sinks it. Good 
great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Gave it up. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. It's the replay, please. It. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. He rejects it. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Perfectly executed. And a momentary look from three-point land. Makes it. Take another look at that play. Both teams looking to get things going here. On the dribble, gives it up. That wide stance and the drop step. I tell you, it's all about angles, and if you utilize that drop step, it's like a reverse pivot move. In the paint, he does the sweet fake shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The shooting guard gets the pass. Oregon State are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. Got the high pick. Goes up for two. In and out. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Off the rim and no good. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Down he goes and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. Entry pass in the paint. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Working around the perimeter on the inside. He puts it in with contact and all. There they come with a double team to stop it. He shoots from the elbow. Comes up short. Number five takes the pass. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block. Here's the block from behind. My man was on a mission. Here they come now on a turn. And his shot rejected. 
Number five is emotionally pumped up. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. Defenders right up on him. Tries for two. Oregon State have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. There's the trap. He comes away with it. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He goes for three. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. Number 15 gets the ball. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. That shot was definitely ill-advised. Number 23 takes the feed. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want we'll to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. In the paint. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Great anticipation defensively. On the inside, the shot drops and the foul. Great concentration on the shot, Brad. Nick, that's what I call giving him the business. He's definitely giving him the business. I can do without that taunting, though. Number 15 going to the charity stripe for the first time tonight. He gets it to go. the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I tell you, great spin move to the basket. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad, although the underdog holds the lead now, remember, it is very early, and we don't know if they have been in this position before, so we'll have to see if they'll be able to maintain it. All right, thanks, Aaron. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon. NBN. Ouch. Green set hard on the defender. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Gave it up. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Number 22 steps to the line for the first time. First one, good. Gets the second shot. Gets the third. 
They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Got a nice green. Up and inside. Unloads. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. Brad, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. On the outside, got a wide open look. Trying to draw the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Makes a great move to draw the foul. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Misses the second. Tough offensive uh, defensive rebound. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. Step out on that screener. From three-point range. They're going to put a stop to this run momentarily with a timeout, Dick. Hey, it's good they did. Things aren't going the way they want right now. They've got to weather the storm. Switch things around here for the moment, Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. Dick, he's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Oh, Screener took some punishment setting that pick. Looking for a good shot. Way out on, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The ball goes out of play. High post player flashing. Dickey's going to go up strong. Oh, that's a terrific. He cashed in on the layup and gets the foul. He knew he was going to get fouled, Brad, but he took the hit like a man. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. He bombs from outside. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. Looking for the foul. Great play to take that to the basket. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. He's got a nice shot fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. the pass for two he gets the bucket jumps in perfectly executed to get it inside to the low block. 
unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He'll go to the line. Gets his first. Both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. He looks for the bomb. It sticks. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Top of the circle. Way off target. Now they work it around the perimeter. He puts up the tray. Shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. Trying to draw some contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, baby. Looking to move it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Fake. On the outside. He shoots from the top of the circle. He gets the shot to fall. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. And he's going to pick up the foul and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He puts up the three ball, drains it. And frustration right there. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. He takes the shot. He's definitely hogging the ball like you hog the microphone. <laughs> hey, sure he is. I can hear snorting from here. <laughs> and he missed. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it there. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Little bump. Says, I like that. Now let's see if he can convert. He goes to the free throw line. He makes it. miss that opportunity either. Man, this crowd will be in a frenzy if they can get a basket on this possession. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Turns it over. Tries for two. 
easy one. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see raw man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Dump it inside. Moving it around the perimeter. From way outside. Off the rim and no good. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. He strokes it. Too strong. to pick up the defense here now. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, oh, young man, be careful. Taunting is definitely a no-no. That'll definitely rub the opponents the wrong way. For the bucket, and in and out. Shot clock is dead. it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. A severe offensive drop for them right now, Dick. And it doesn't seem to be turning around as of yet, Brad. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Goes in. At the end of the first half, the Bulldogs lead by three. It's been a tight battle so far, Dick. Do you have a highlight of the half in your book? The three balls are coming, Brad. My highlight has to be this three-pointer. I expect more of that in the second half. Let's get back down to the action where it looks like the two teams are all set to start the second half. We kind of expected that battle between David and Goliath, and that's what we saw in the first half. What do you expect in the second half? Well, I'll tell you what, in the second half, I expect them to really do a better job the end of the door of protecting the basketball. I think they got to do a better job because the end of the first half, they started to really get away from the things they did early. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. Dumps it in. In the paint. It's stolen. This defense isn't yielding an inch. Hey, the offense looks very timid, Brad. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. The point guard handles the feed. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect for saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The shooting guard handles the pass. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. The power forward receives the ball. Tries for two. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move. And he does it exceptionally well. Pressure's getting to him. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. He 
He is going to the line. Routine. And he got them both. The center receives the pass. Gave it up. Not getting late looks in terms of perimeter threes. Defense really extended on that perimeter line. From left of the circle. He seems absolutely adverse to taking any good shots right now. And with that, his teammates may be getting a little bit frustrated. The ball goes out of bounds. High post flashes. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. Look at that spacing. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing. You've got to be able to establish post play because that gives you inside-outside action. He missed the jumper off the nice screen. They work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Perfectly executed. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. And the ball goes out of play. Full house. And a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. In the paint. Number 23, pump fakes. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Here's a double team. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Takes the outside jumper, way off target. Good fake. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Off the rim and no good. Here's a spin down to the low block. Hunter's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and now the spin move to the goal. Outside. Guns up the deep one. Questionable shot selection there. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Number he got fouled in the air, and he still put it down. Hey, that was some serious air meal, Brad. My goodness, Brad, what a play. That was a great play, Dick. I agree with you. He shouldn't let his emotions get the best of him, though. He better watch out. He'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Throws up the shot. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. 
think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. And they come up with a steal. He telegraphed that pass. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Doesn't go. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. Working it around the perimeter. Tries for two. And he scores despite the hack. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Off the rim and no good. On the outside. He makes the block. The ball goes out of play. High post flasher is open. For the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. The Bulldogs have a three-point shooter spotting up. He shoots from the elbow. He is just lighting it up. Dude. He's beating his man to the spot and hitting the shots, Brad. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. For two, rims out. We'll take the shot. Awesome job of running his guy in for the screen to get off that J. He puts it up, and he misses the shot. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. He fires away. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Dick and Brad, looking at this matchup, the favorites came in with a better roster, but it seems as if they're playing as individuals. Their coaches are telling them, focus and let's play as a team, guys. Off the rim and no good. Picked out of the air. Takes the shot. Off the mark. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Now the high screen. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Gave it up. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Hey, when are these guys going to be able to make a shot? Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. For two, rims out.
That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. I love this guy, Hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? Takes the pass in the paint and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Pushes it. For the bucket. Off the rim and no good. Leans in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. That shot usually creates momentum and opportunity. Fast break possibility coming. In the paint. Looking for contact. Looking for a good shot. Puts it up. Looking for contact. Oregon State are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they're flooded to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. He comes away with it. And the slam. The Bulldogs are down by four. He unloads a three. Way off target. They work the perimeter. Takes away the pass. And the ball goes out of bounds. They work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumps into the defender. The land. He shoots from outside. He's doing a terrible job of distributing the ball. They may have to pull him out and let somebody else out there and let him think about it for a while. Trying to draw the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Takes it off him. Goes up for two. Rims out. Number 23 is pounded on his way up. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He'll get the free ones. Makes the first. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. the second shot. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Steal. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. Pushes it hard up the court. Tries for two. And he missed. Moving it around the perimeter. He rejects it. On the outside. 
outside. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. I'll tell you, three quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position, spreading his body and getting the ball. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, ultimate shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. Looking for a good shot. Takes the pass in the paint. And off the mark. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He gets the rejection. Gave it up. Working it around the perimeter. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Double team now, bad angle. Steals the ball. On the dribble, gives it up for the deuce. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. If he keeps this up, he may collapse. His teammates must pick it up. Stolen ball. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Going to move it around the perimeter. In the post. For two. For the bucket. Basket falls despite the contact. They work the perimeter. Way out on top. Control of the ball. Off the rim and no good. Gave it up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Good. They've got to figure out a way to slow him down. I'd start to get physical with him and I'd see what happens. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Perfectly executed. Takes the pass in the paint. On the outside. He tries the three. He drains it. They work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Coach looks on. Focus. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. Moving it around the perimeter. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? He launches a three. Rims out. Play about ready to resume. One on the shot clock. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. He can't get the bucket to fall. Pushes it up. He intercepts it. 
Yes! They're working around the arc. Throws it up. Number three. Got it. He was hit in midair, but he still laid the ball in. This kid can play, Brad. He goes as hard to the rack as anybody out there. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. He goes to the line. He missed it. They really need a score here to turn this into a two-possession game. He shoots from long range. Don't waste a lot of time. Foul right away. As we see the game situation here. Hey, Brad, these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for. Calling timeouts at the right time, knowing which way the possession arrow is pointing. All factors that are important in close games. And yet another foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you why. He's disgusted, but so is his coach. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. <laughs> to the line. Makes the front end of the one and one. We'll take one, too. We'll be back in a moment. We get ready to bounce back into action here. Goes up for two. Sweet-looking shot. He is super. He really is. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Dick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. Second shot, no good. Pushing that basketball. I like it when the team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and off. Makes the second shot. Gets a hand in the way. On the dribble, gives it up. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. You know, upsets like this don't grow on trees. We see it once in a while, but this one still got me a little baffled. I think the coach staff's got to get them back in the practice environment and get them to be intense. I didn't like the way that they acted at the shoot around. I thought they were too cocky then, and it reflected in the way they played. They were absolutely beaten today by a club that was ready to perform. Mississippi State find themselves on the losing end of a good game. After a loss like this, you have to question their ranking. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.